to get a corner view here. I don't know if you can tell, but those corners are looking really nice. Those metal corners, the old retro. I'm trying to bring them back. This will be my third house I've done those on. Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, this is a house that I'm currently building and we've got it framed up and we're getting ready to do the siding and I was actually able to come up with something I thought was pretty cool, pretty different. And I'm going to show you a, an extension for SketchUp that if you do this any at all uh, in your career or hobby that uh, it will save you an, an immense amount of time. It is an extension called uh, Valley Architects. Let's go to their website right quick. Yes, Valley Architects. And this is their website, valleyarchitects.com. And they have individual extensions. Uh, he has individual extensions. And the one I'm using today is this instant cladding right here. And I'll show it to you in a minute. He has other extensions, instant door and window, instant fence and railing, instant road, which is a really, another really cool one. If you do site top, you know, site work, site drawings, instant roof is, is amazing. <laughs> All of these are just great instant site grader. I'm going to be doing videos on these. I worked out a deal with Chuck, the uh, owner to provide me with the license for instant architecture which has all of these extensions and i want to thank him uh, for doing that uh, this you know when you do this on, on a daily basis it can get really tedious and i was just going to demonstrate that you can buy these extensions individually and i'm telling you you know 19 dollars a year is nothing you'll you will save nineteen dollars in the first five minutes <laughs> Just anyway not to be too much of a salesperson but i do want to thank chuck for that and i'll be using them in my videos in the future and i'll just pro i'll mention them as i use them i love this classic kind of look with a wider siding and i love it when you don't have corner boards and you wrap the siding around the corner and it's really more pronounced than this let me show you a photograph of a house I built this was my last house and where'd it go here we go this is an artsy fartsy picture I took uh, for a book cover I'm writing and uh, you can see here if I can zoom in you see the effect you get when the siding wraps around the corner and you don't have a corner board. I've gotten to where I don't like corner boards on siding. Uh, all that said, that's what I'm doing on this project, if you're wondering. And the cool thing about this extension is it can miter. It can miter the corners, you see? And that's a cool effect. Now, one mistake I made, and that's why, why I'm making this video, is that I'm, I have to actually delete this <laughs> siding because I did not, um, I'm not deleting the wall, am I? No, uh, reverse that face. I did not, uh, do, if you notice the siding didn't line up at the corner. Uh, one thing I haven't done before with his extension is set a datum point and I'm gonna be doing that um, now and uh, I think I'm just going to do this these three sides to give you a demonstration of where you have a house that starts you know at a point and steps up and then steps up again you know and you want all your courses all your laps to line up these lines are going to be more subtle these vertical lines are more subtle than this it's a, a hardy uh, panel siding called Sierra 8 and has these, has these real faint grooves at 8 inches on center. So it looks, all this is going to be really nice and um, 
this extension is going to help me make it make it look nice so what I'm going to do is go up here to my extension and as you can see I have all the extensions here but I'm going to go down to cladding instant cladding wall cladding now this looks a little intimidating but once you get it set up you can save these styles okay so what you're going to do is pick a style and I already know what I'm going to use this bevel one but again there's oodles you can play around with it to get all this you know all these other styles you just click on the style you want you click the parameters button and whatever parameters are there for that particular siding will show up now here's an interesting point you see this is zero zero datum align to datum this is what I should have done and I haven't done it before and I'll have to figure this out right quick I'm gonna start off with zero and see what happens I've already figured out that our coursing is 10 and 1 8 we'll see if that works on this in real life it works we worked it out Paco and I worked it out the other day I wanted to leave one part of the siding to see how if it lines up with this zero datum point but then I gotta select all the sides now I'm telling you right now if I had to draw this by hand first I'd have to draw a piece of siding and then I would have to pull it all the way across and stop and cut it around doors and windows it would be two days okay of me drawing drawing this uh, but I'm going to show you how quick this is I'm just going to run this because it's so easy to do sorry for inconvenience exceeds maximum data limit what please try a less complex outline okay so I'm just going to do I'm just going to do um, I've never run into that before that was odd I'm going to go ahead and um, select this and see if it will see if it will do it and I'm going to let it just find that corner and let's see if this will do it now that's odd because again I haven't run into that message before let's see yeah oh look okay so that's good what it did was uh it it mitered the corners and it wrap and again i love that look where it wraps around let's go down here and see if it lines up now here we go this is a good example what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this little section and i'm going to redo it and it should and I'll go back to my extension. Oops, that's the wrong extension. That's weld. Valley, cladding, wall cladding. And I'm going to say yes to datum. And then I'm going to run this <coughs> just to see for the fun of it. Oh, yeah. You see that? That's cool. So you got to, if you've got steps in your siding system, or you just, you know, you have a special point you want to start you'll want to use that datum thing because you can see right here now that I now that I'm using that datum point I can just wrap this siding all the way around and it is it is finding the corners let's try this without uh, saying find corners okay extensions valley why cladding Let's just run it and see. Cause see, yeah, cool. Cause see, um, and where's my one before? Oh shoot! I just realized I haven't. I have to undo that. I just realized I was getting so excited about this that I had not. I have a band that runs all the way around. Let me fix this and I'll come right back. Okay, so I got that fixed. I didn't want to bore you with me just drawing this band uh, around the house that divides the horizontal siding from the vertical siding. So one, one other point I wanted to bring up is that we had set this band so that the last row of siding can be the same width as the, the lap. The cut the exposure 
And that's what I wanted. That's why I used the wide siding. And that band uh, coincides or lines up with the break, the, the trim of these windows. So it's kind of cool. I like it. I mean, it's kind of a simple house. It's nothing, you know, fancy like Chuck, <laughs> who's an architect, <laughs> would come up with. But, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I've I only worked in architecture for about 10 years out of my 40 years. So, I you know, I do the best I can with, with design. And I get by, you know, this, uh, I got this uh, going, you know, let's see, datum, yes, run, there we go. See how much easy, I'm telling you guys, this, I mean, I've, I've, I'm telling you, I've drawn, I've drawn this before by hand, and I've had to miter these corners, and I'm sitting there pulling, you know, doing the miters on every row, it's just a mess, okay, so... And you, if you're going to do this professionally, you got to get to where you can do some, get some production because I can't charge the customer for all of that, you know? Now, one thing I noticed is this, these walls are, are not exactly the right height because it does work out. In other words, we'll see right here, this, we've got this worked out to where this course See this course right here? This bottom of this course comes on around and I may fix this. Because that's one nice thing about this. I can go into this. Does that have a face right there? I can pull. No, but I can create one, can I? I bet I can. And then, well, I'll figure that out later. But um, that course comes all the way around. So that... In real life, and sometimes, you know, in your drawings, you don't get everything you want. But uh, that's not uh, Chuck's fault, the Valley Architect's fault. That's just because my model is not perfectly accurate. And they, they almost never are because they're not real. They're not real life. You, we try to get them as close as we can, but it's just not practical. You see, all I... Uh, these models just have to be good enough for me to uh, relay the what we're doing to the owner and uh, give I have a, uh, a lady who helps me she is an architect who helps me with colors and generally what I end up doing sometimes is I end up being her draftsman because <laughs> uh, I'll periodically get her help on design and uh, I actually did this design on the siding and sent it to her and she thought it was okay so i felt pretty good about that and the owner liked it so you know there's uh three votes for it so it's not perfect but it's different and this style these styles of uh this house style uh i'm trying to do sort of a retro sort of modern um and these materials mimic what you see in some of the homes in the neighborhood you know they're not exactly but they they pay respect to the neighborhood which is what i like to do i keep right mouse clicking instead of i must not be able to talk and now i could have selected if i wasn't talking you know i would have probably i would have selected all those areas at once and you see how it found the corners i didn't have to select them and uh that's how that's how well that works. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna have to figure out what this vertical siding is because I think I have forgotten. Let's see if I can figure it out right quick. Vertical groove. That sounds familiar. Let's run that and see what it does. Anyway. Not to bore you with that, but you see what I did was I tried to make it look like this Sierra 8 siding. So what I did was I made the grooves real narrow and, and very shallow. And that's what I get for not uh, saving that. Because uh, what happens is you'll, you'll edit the style and then you'll do, the, you know, do your house. And then the next day uh, you'll come back in and if you hadn't saved it, You'll, you'll have to reinvent whatever that was 
and I'm going to have to sit here and measure and go through all that. But it's no big deal. Um, if I can get something close, it'll be quick. I can just redo it all. But the, 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 that is really the key to what I'm talking about. Is it is it, it saves so much time that it is worth you know uh, worth every penny of, of what it costs. So what I'll do, I'll, I'm going to do a follow up on this house here in, in just a little bit, an update on it, and I'm going to I'm going to do a video on the siding as it's designed, and then compare it uh, to to the drawings. So if you need any help like this. Uh, contact me at atdrafting.com uh, that's my drafting business uh, and of course artist construction is my d uh, design build company but um, please check out uh, valley architects i'll put a link in the description and if you're a sketchup uh, person and you use this for work or even a hobby it's really I promise you, it will save you oodles of time. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, guys.